The Maafa is back again for its 26th year. The annual event reflects on the African journey through the Middle Passageway, and this time it's being showcased in a short film. Take a look. How much does one life cost? Nothing if the person is free. But if they not, then they a slave and can be purchased for a fee. Ships with bodies stacked like bricks headed for a country. Joining us now about with more about how the Maafa experience is different this year is Reverend David Brawley, pastor of St. Paul Community Baptist Church. Good morning, pastor. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, OG. Good to be with you this morning. Oh, it's a pleasure for us. Okay, let's start off by explaining what Maafa means, because it's been going on for 25 years, but to some, the experience might be new, the story might be new. So talk to us about what you want people to feel walking out of this. Well, quickly, Maafa means great Holocaust um, calamity. It's the word that we use to describe our experience in the transatlantic slave trade. Um, it humanizes the story and allows people to really get in touch with what happened in terms of our enslavement on these shores. And um, I would say that this is not a black story. This is America's story. And uh, we've been telling this story now for 25 years, but we had to change it up. As you can see, our cast is outside mm -hmm. um, because we had to move the experience uh, based on COVID restrictions. And uh, I just wanna say that this congregation is so, so deeply resilient and you'll see it in the movie. Of course, I, I'm sure I will. And I love that you call it an experience. I call it an experience because my first reporting gig ever was a fellowship I got from the NABJ to go to Senegal to report. So I got to go to Gore Island. I got to walk into those cells where they held the slaves before they did that last passage with the last exit. You know what I mean? So I know what, you, what, what the feeling is. So it's more of an experience. That's why I like using the word experience for it. And I like that you guys just switched things up this year, pandemic or no pandemic, the show must go on. So do you have any team members? Because you talked about your wonderful congregation. Are there people in, behind the scenes and in front of the camera that you'd like to give a shout out to for their well, let excellent me, let work? Me, let me just say this. It was done in six weeks. Whoa. The film was done professionally in six weeks. It was one of the ways we could keep everybody safe, COVID restrictions and all of that. So the entire cast company crew, our director, Lakai Worrell, Marjorie Clark, and all of the folks who helped to produce this film, um, Shu, our, uh, our, our director of film, did a phenomenal job. We put this team together in weeks and six weeks. We produced something that Brooklyn, New York, the tri-state area can be very proud of. Um, a local congregation telling a major story for years. 50,000 people have seen uh, Ma'af or experienced it. Now millions can see it on our YouTube channel. Watch this for free our church paid the entire bill. Oh, wow. So this is, everything's on your YouTube channel. So what's your YouTube channel for people that are watching and want to take it down to remember? SPCBC TV. SPCBC TV. All right, thank and you. St. Paul Community Baptist Church. I want to take that Peters out of there. It's St. Paul Community Baptist Church. Um, and also they can check us out on our, uh, our website, spcbc.com. All right. Thank you so much, Reverend Brawley. Such a pleasure to have you. Thank you for this experience, for doing the hard work, putting it together and making the show go on, because this is an important story to tell. For more information on Ma'afa, the movie, just go to pix11.com and we'll have that website and the link to everything for you.